Hi, my name is Shay. I'm a third year engineer studying at the University of Cambridge. Hello, my name is Felix and I'm in my second year studying engineering science at the University of Oxford. I think I chose to study engineering at Cambridge because of the core structure. So at Cambridge it's um, slightly unique in the sense that you cover all bases of engineering within your first two years. So you do a little bit of mechanical engineering, a little bit of civil engineering, a little bit of electrical engineering and information engineering before you then specialise in your third and fourth year. And I think when I applied to university, I knew I wanted to do engineering, but wasn't quite sure what exact sector I wanted to work on. And even if I had known a sector, I still think that understanding how the other sectors in engineering work would be really useful for the kind of projects I wanted to go on to do. I decided quite early on that I wanted to study engineering because I was really interested in problem solving. And I was really interested in thinking about the way the world works um, through the lens of engineering. But I wasn't really sure exactly what kind of engineering I wanted to study, whether that was thermodynamic, um, mechanical or civil. And most universities asked me to pick quite early on which strand of engineering I wanted to focus on, but I really wasn't keen to do that. And Oxford offered me a general course in engineering, so every engineering student at Oxford sits all of the, the various types of engineering for their first two years, and that was really appealing to me. So um, that was the main reason I decided to, to apply to study at Oxford. Were you ever conflicted between two subjects at any point in your application? Um, yes, definitely at the start of my application I was really conflicted between studying something more theoretical like physics or natural sciences at Oxford and Cambridge respectively, but in the end I was really drawn to the kind of direct nature of engineering sciences subjects and the kind of problem solving aspect of it, um, so that's ultimately why I picked it for my degree course. I was also really interested at one point in studying humanity, so I took German to A-level um, but as it happens, I've kept up my German skills even while I've been at university through language courses. So I've been really happy with my choice of degree course. I think it was all kind of still related to engineering in a way. So at one point I considered architecture, at uh, another point I kind of considered product design or like design engineering and then mechanical engineering compared to other types of engineering. But it, all, it was all still in that kind of like design and make um, kind of sector mainly. I think there was a point where I did consider economics because it's a similar skill set to engineering in a sense that you're trying to solve problems but the tools in which you solve those problems are very different to engineering and it would have been like something I'd like never tried before but still seemed slightly interesting um, so I did consider that momentarily. What is your favourite aspect of your course? Hmm. Hmm, good question. A fantastic question. Um, I would say the favourite aspect, or my favourite aspect of studying engineering at the University of Cambridge is um, the kind of facilities students have access to. So I'm quite a practical, hands-on person. So although sometimes I find like the lectures quite interesting, sometimes they are very theoretical um, and I sometimes find it hard to like engage with the content or still keep like motivated to want to do well in engineering. Um, but we have like cool societies and cool maker spaces where we can go in, 3D print, laser cut, prototype with cardboard and whatever you want to do essentially there are like no rules there it doesn't have to be related to your course you can just kind of like I don't know freestyle in there and I kind of love having that space to take um engineering to like a very practical um sense rather than just sticking to pure theory my favorite aspect of my course is definitely the practical work we do so we have five hours of labs every week and it's a great opportunity to speak to other people doing your course um, and work on some really interesting projects. So I've been doing projects in computer science and electronics this year, um, and it's just a really nice part of the week. What is your advice to someone who currently is considering engineering at Cambridge? Um, I would say for people who wanna do engineering, um, because you haven't done engineering before, or like, like it's unlikely you would have done it, the closest you would have done is maths and physics um, or DT and things like that, is try and explore the field of engineering as much as you can. It might be difficult, but if you can try and like do a project, like come up with an idea or like find a problem, see if you can like come up with a solution to it, consider all the things you have to um, think about in terms of like 
your solution like is it actually going to work is it going to meet the needs of whoever needs to meet the needs of from a technical point of view is it going to work if it is something you can then prototype either by like coding it up or doing some cardboard prototyping all that kind of stuff i think will help you understand what engineering is in i don't want to sound cheesy but like in its true and beautiful form so not just like hard maths and calculations or like hard physics equations and theories but kind of starting with the problem and working your way through a solution i think that will help you know if engineering is for you or what part of engineering like really excites you and then you can then kind of pinpoint those areas when it comes to like your personal statement or when it comes to your interview you kind of have this like newfound desire or newfound understanding of what engineering truly is and why you actually want to study it at university and how university can help you like fill in the gaps of maybe things you couldn't do when you would like freestyling with this project um during sixth form or things like that my advice is definitely just to read around the subjects as much as possible. It's a really interesting way to um, get a feel for what the su studying subjects at university would be like um, and see what kind of problems you might be solving. So speak to a local librarian or a school librarian about the kind of books you might be able to take out um, and find out more about the subject. Additionally, if you can work on some additional like small projects, um, I found that to be a really interesting way of engaging with the subject and it was a great thing to talk about um, in my personal statements.